Watch it, watch it. No, it's not finished. Hey, good way things to take time. You know what? I'm taking two. Griever here, and we are here to talk about APOC. Well, at least I'm here to talk about APOC. Um, you will notice this year I am in the workshop, and I am missing a certain five-foot person that stands next to me normally in these videos. Um, unfortunately, Kalani couldn't make it to APOC this year. I touch a little bit on that in the actual footage, um, so I'm really not going to get into it now. Um that being said, a lot of stuff happened uh, with APOC this year. Um, some some good, some not great. Uh, but first and foremost, I want to say huge thank yous to Nick, to Van, uh, to the NYCNO, um, and also to Drac and uh, Jeff Blue for helping out with certain situations at times. Um, but Nick Van and Ness and the rest of the crew from New York, uh, despite everything that happened, APOC still happened. And that's the most important thing. Um, we all, I mean, I had a great time. I can't speak for everyone, but I know I had a great time and I am really looking forward to next year again, as always. So now that being said, let me dive into a little bit of what the hell happened. So, APOC is normally held at Joe Plea Park in Ocean Township, um, the old deal test facility, the old deal test site, um, and has for many, many years, pretty much the entire existence of APOC. Well, this year, we were shut down by the cops. And I hold no ill will to the Ocean Township Police Department, the police officers that came down, or the um, supervising officer who pretty much instructed them to shut us down um, because they were doing their jobs. Plain and simple, they were doing their jobs. Um, they were enforcing a rule that you cannot have more than 10 people in the park without a permit, which is the first time I think any of us have ever heard of that. So, again, they were doing their jobs. I don't hold any ill will to them. Now, that being said, to the person who called the cops on us, you can go... And I mean that. Um, but you know what? Things happen. Um, in the past, we were able to explain to the cops what was going on. Um, you know, just tell them, hey, we're just a bunch of doofy guys playing with toys in a park. It just happens to be a lot of us. And this year it just didn't fly. So we wound up actually moving from Palia over to All Air State Park. And, um, thank you for actually accommodating us because while they technically didn't shut us down, they did move us from where we kind of like relocated a bit because the township said, yeah, we're fine. Um, one of, uh, there may be an officer who comes by just to make sure everything's on the up and up. An officer did come by. However, he was with the state parks department, not the township. Um, so that being said, he even said, yeah, Township don't speak for us, which is completely understandable. He didn't shut us down, but we did have to relocate. And again, that is understandable because the, in hindsight, the area we set up in, while it was a big field and we weren't really near them, well, at least playing near them, uh, we were right by a driveway that went to campgrounds and a main roadway. So... That's understandable why we moved. 
uh, once we finally got set up in the new place, um, pretty much APOC became APOC. Uh, we got our tent set up, we got our chairs set up, we found where we're going to play, and we started nerfing. And that was the fun part. <laughs> uh finally after like three and a half hours but hey what are you gonna do we still had apoc and it, honestly in my opinion that's the most important thing so and i have to say everyone who was trying to defuse situations and get everything worked out um again thank you all for stepping up for it um it was really appreciated and not just by me, but I would say by everyone there, just so we could still have our event. Um, let's see, what else? I need Kleine here to keep me in track. Um, oh, um, did meet some new people, ran into a lot of old friends. Um, Containment Crew was there this year, along with uh, Random Shadow 09. It's always great seeing you guys. Um, New York City Nerf Ops was there. Um, they were actually pretty much running um, all of the games, and they did a again a phenomenal job of that. Um, the Wonder Twins were there. I actually finally I actually got to meet uh, Builder BB, who is a sub here on the channel. So shout out to you, Builder, um, and seeing your crazy, crazy uh, Prometheus, not Prometheus, um, po Proton. Tr Oh my god, I can't freaking speak. Uh, Proton Pack Zeus. That pretty much, if you put like nothing but red rival balls in there, would literally be flying lasers. Uh, that thing was insane. You actually will be able to see that in a little while in the uh, actual APOC footage. Um, also, shout out to uh, the New Jersey crew. Uh, Jackson, Langley, Ted, uh, Jake, aka Nerfaholic. Uh, Ballistics Joe, it's always fun seeing all of you guys again. Um, really wish I got to spend more than just five minutes talking and hanging out with you guys, but there's always next year, hopefully. <laughs> um, also got to meet uh, Vlad, who came up actually last year, who actually I did not realize it, but I did run into him this year, and <laughs> funny story there. Um we were talking with Archer from the Women of Nerf and just kind of all BSing while we were doing a dart sweep. And Vlad was saying, oh, yeah, I go by like this uh, username. And I'm like, I recognize that name. Wait, what was it before? And he mentions Vlad. And I go, oh, my God. And it was a surreal moment because we were actually just talking about having those surreal moments when you're like, oh, my God, someone recognized me from the stuff on YouTube. Um <laughs> And um, also, speaking of that, shout out to Carlos. It was awesome seeing you again, bro. Um, I had that moment with him last year, which was honestly great looking back on it. Um, and also, shout out to uh, the women of Nerf. Uh, they are a nerfing group that is also a nonprofit. Um, they do a lot of charity work and all. Uh, go check them out. I'll, you know what? I'll throw a link to if I if I can. I'll throw a link to their uh, Facebook page down below. Archer, it was really nice meeting you. You were a awesome person. Uh, who's honestly got great meeting you. And also, uh, shout out to Drac. Um, not just for trying to make a brisket for the entire freaking day, which by the way, the bacon was awesome. Brisket tasted good. Um, but you'll hear. You'll see all that stuff later on, too. Um, also, thank you uh, to our Canadian friends who came down. Uh, Jeff, it was great seeing you. And thank you again for not only uh, the ride to and from your campsite, but also filming a very special segment that will be in a little bit. And also, shout out to Adrian for <laughs> letting me get away with this for... All for steel honestly um this is a benelli shotgun uh body kit on a magnus that he actually kind of retooled up a bit and it's honestly he he told me it's not war practical but it is a ton of fun and i will agree it is not war practical but it is a ton of freaking fun 
Uh, this will actually be a standalone uh, review video later on. Um, not in this video, I mean like an actual later on video. Um, but I think I've, I want to say I think I've covered everything. Um, again, I don't have my spot checker. Um, but if I think of anything, I'll throw it at the end because coming up now is going to be the footage I actually have from APOC. So I hope you enjoy. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so I'm on my way to APOC. Um, Clanny unfortunately could not make it this year. Um, unfortunately, life happens and so do shitty friends. Uh, not me though. But unfortunately, like I said, he can't make it. Uh, it sucks. Definitely going to miss him this year. Um, I'll have to try and have fun for both of us. <laughs> but I'm on the road. It's 810. About to get on the turnpike. And hopefully, uh, don't hit any traffic. I uh, should be getting there a little after 9, which is early. But you kind of want to get here early because if not, you're not parking in the little parking lot that they have. And worse comes to worse, if, they, if you don't get uh, parking in the parking lot, you have to park on the street. And that's just more of a distance to lug all of your junk. So that's really, really not fun. I also just realized as I'm getting onto the turnpike, I forgot my GoPro. So any kind of footage you're gonna be getting from it is all gonna be either me recording a couple of um, games or the usual me walking around saying hi to people and maybe like little mini interviews or something. But yep, so. There's not going to be any actual uh, game footage of me playing unless somebody is nice enough to record me. So, sorry about that in advance, but I'll see you there. This has been a fun two and a half hours because actually three and a half hours we haven't done the damn thing yet because we got kicked out of Palaya. we got kicked out of the second park we went to now we're going to a third park and i'm actually nice enough to get a ride with uh our canadian brethren so thank you very much for that jeff don't worry about it yeah. <laughs> oh thanks <laughs> so we're going to our third campground hopefully this is it we're not moving anymore because if we are fuck this we're done beer time if it is Yes, beer time. Well, APOC is now finally underway at our new place in All Air State Park. This is where half of us have set up camp. Some over there. And the New York guys decided to just park themselves all the way over there. Antisocial? I don't know. But... I'm chilling over there with the containment crew. Stop by there for in a minute or so, but see a couple of the people we have here. We have the women of Nerf and Southern Maryland House of Nerf, which is cool to see them. The Canadians. Yeah. Say hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Adrian. Yo. Better shot of Southern Maryland House of Nerfs flag flying. The honest to God question of the day. How's the brisket doing? Are we going to have it today? It's supposed to be slow, but like, it ain't supposed to be this slow. So Wait, who are you again? Uh, Lard Dirk, <laughs> aka Captain Bionicle. Uh, Lord Bionicle. Lord Bionicle. <laughs> With the mask and the pants. I, I don't know, man. I'm nobody. I just want to grill. It's looking good, at least. It's coming along. It needs a, it needs a light spritz, the bacons. <laughs> That looks good. Cool. I warned you. Is it just super good? It wasn't just me. 
It took me two hands. It took me two hands. <laughs> to fire it? To that's that not trigger. too bad. That's not the terrible. Point. And that's the nerf, the nerf, the 18 and a half. What do you have in here for a... It's just the metal rod. I gotta get in there and lube it and crap. I just took it apart. Like, oh yeah, no, that, like that, that, that's, that's just atrocious. Because I blew the barrel out at Foam Pro Tour. So, it's... Yeah. Would you like to use my my talon claw? No, I, I can fire that no problem. Everyone else seems to have a problem with it. But, but feel that. That was like the first one I've seen do it. Single finger other than Jeff. Oh, oh yeah, that's ball. still single handed at least. Hey, I, I can at least single hand it. Yeah, like for me, did you prime it? Or no? Yeah. Did you prime no, it? No, 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 no. I did it the exact same way. <laughs> And I never so seen you do it. Oh, double finger. Yeah. I saw you struggling, and I'm like, oh, double finger. I did single too. <laughs> Corbett's just like, I am going to single hand this thing. Two fingers, yeah. Just shoot right up. Oh, it's it's like cake with two fingers. Yeah. It's it's an angle problem, not a. Yeah. Like I said, it's just it's got to be lubed. And <laughs> I got I got a plan. But I've been working works. and stuff and. No, it's just too many wars. Because we've had like three wars since the hmm. end uh -oh. of Are you fine? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. oh that's yeah. cool. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I, think it was, I think it got double prime. Oh, well, now it's got two again. Oh, it's going to regular draw. There's still two in there. Oh, there's one in the very front. There you go. There was one stuck in this car. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just so funny. <laughs> Jeff and the Beast. So, so, what it was though is I had that other worker trigger and I never liked it because it had just like the hook on the end. Mm. That thing is so sharp though. Right? Yeah. So, I hated it. So, I threw this one in because I blew the barrel out of it anymore. And the front port. No. So, I had to fix that. The seal's fantastic, but now the trigger is. The trigger's like just I whack. I can't, it's like I can't get everything to work proper. Okay, so this is Blue using Griever's phone, and I'm taping Griever versus Drac over there, 1v1. Oh, and that's a hit. And Grieber's reloading after that hit. Drax reloading too. Load it. He's loaded. Oh, and a hit. 
That's what happens when you blow your load too quick. <laughs> Premature barrel blowout. That's a problem. My RCB is loose. Jack just standing over there chilling, waiting. <laughs> what is that? Two one? Oh, the dodge. Oh, three, one, and game. What do you want? Go for it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's so crazy. A little flamethrower for you. Yeah, seriously. Get the heavy flamer. <laughs> <laughs> it's my car. <laughs> Seven hours later, the brisket is done. It's good. Okay, so that's my footage from APOC this year. Uh, as I say every year, I wish I did get some more footage, but I'm happy with what I have. Um, and shout out again to Drac for um, having the 1v1 against me. It was really fun. Um, I may wind up doing some fun edits with it in the future. I don't know yet, uh, but we'll see. Uh, but that being said, that's going to do it for this video. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, everyone, for making APOC for what it was. And as always, if you enjoy the stuff we do here on the channel, throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of APOC if you happened to attend it or if you did something else nerfy this weekend, like went to Blair County's charity events, you had a local event, or if you just did something in the backyard with friends, throw us a comment down below. I Honestly, I love reading the comments. They're, they're fun. Um, and also, don't forget to click that bell icon because with YouTube and algorithms and all that wonkiness, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here, so get the notifications. Um, and that's going to be it. So, again, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Oh, <laughs> oh,